Welcome back to another edition of Patriot Network TV. It is an important day in American history. It's October 19th. Now, unfortunately, when I turned on the news this morning, nobody was yelling and screaming about it being October 19th. When you turn on the news on October 19th, there ought to be people dressed up in tri-corner hats with the traditional flags of the American Revolution. They ought to be yelling and screaming. They ought to be cheering. They ought to be down on their knees thanking Almighty God that we beat Cornwallis and won the Revolutionary War. But they don't. People do not have a sense of history. Our military, starting with the Army of the Revolution and coming forward, our military has silently, quietly, and in all frankness, without much appreciation, made this a free country, made this the freest country in the history of the world. And we don't say thanks enough. We don't thank the U.S. military, active duty, reserve, past veterans. We don't thank them enough. We don't honor the memory of the soldiers who secured our freedoms. The Declaration says that we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, and they are endowed by their Creator with certain inalienable, non-transferable rights. Among those are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Well, on October 19, 1781, and I want to quote here, I'm going to quote from uh, uh, one of my favorite sources, hopelessly trapped at Yorktown, Virginia, British General Lord Cornwallis surrenders 8,000 British soldiers and seamen to a larger American force, effectively bringing to an end the American Revolution. Lord Cornwallis was one of the most capable British generals in the American Revolution. In 1776, Lord Cornwallis drove George Washington Patriot Force out of New Jersey in 1780. He won a stunning victory over General Horatio Gates and the Patriot Army at Camden. Uh, in South Carolina, Cornwallis' subsequent invasion of North Carolina was less successful. And in April 1781, he led his weary and beleaguered troops toward the Virginia coast, where he could maintain seaborne lines of communication with the large British Navy. Okay, Now, what's going on here is this. They thought, and keep in mind what Great Britain was, in 1776, when the Declaration of Independence is signed, when the colonists, when the 13 colonies rise up against Great Britain, it is the greatest naval power that has ever existed. Britannia rules the seas. It's the greatest financial power that's ever existed. They laughed. They thought this was ridiculous. They thought that George Washington and Hancock and the rest of them were insane. What did Washington know that General Lord Cornwallis didn't? What Washington knew was that Americans on their own soil, with their own weapons, with their own sense of ownership, understanding, with their own guile, with their own abilities, with their own unique prowess in the new frontier, he knew that they would beat this army. He knew they would beat this navy. Washington, Hancock, and the others knew that the Declaration of Independence wasn't just words written on a piece of parchment. The Declaration was a statement of the truth of the universe. Free men, owning their own weapons, standing in opposition to tyranny, always, in the long term, overcome. So on this day, October 19th, 1781, General Washington forces Cornwallis to surrender. And when you turned on the news this morning, was that the first story on the news? Was it the second? Was it the third? No. It's just taken for granted. Well, of course we won the Revolutionary War. You could have got 501 odds from the bookies in London that Great Britain would defeat the colonies, the upstarts these irrational people, this crazy John Hancock, this goofy George Washington, George Washington who tried to be in the British Army and they wouldn't even take him, who was our general and leader. So on October 19th, whether it's 2011, whether it's 1781, every U.S. citizen owes the military a debt of gratitude. And on this day, at this time, I want to thank 
and we're blessed to have many folks who view this who are in the military active duty and many more who are in the reserves and retired. I want to thank you for your service. And you weren't there in 1781, but your service is exactly the same. It is commitment, it's loyalty, it's duty, it's honor. And as someone who has benefited greatly from my life in the United States, I want to thank you, just like I want to thank Washington. And as the Patriot Network TV, we want to thank you. Quan and I want to thank you for our freedom, for our many rights that you've protected in the past and today, and for the protection you will avail to us in the future. In the meantime, God bless you. God bless the United States of America.